On today's episode of Golf Around the Open, we will explore the Monterey Peninsula's finest golf courses, where we will meet and get swing tips from your local golf professionals. Tahama Golf Club, Corral de Tierra Country Club, Bayonet and Black Horse, Carmel Valley Ranch Golf Club, and the club at Pasadera. Each instructor will share tips for your golf swing or explain the tough conditions the pros will face at the upcoming US Open Pebble Beach. Be ready to sharpen your skills right here on Golf Around the Open. Good afternoon, my name is Justin. I'm here with Justin Russo Golf Academy on the first green of Black Horse Golf Course. We're located just behind the first green in the intermediate rough. And we're gonna talk about one of our basic shots that we find quite often, the chip shot. And a little too far away to putt, so we're gonna use one of our wedges and we're gonna chip the ball up onto the green. So we're gonna take our ball, place it near the back part of our stance because we need a little bit of roll to get the ball back there. When we finish our shot, we're going to keep the club as low to the ground as we can until the ball stops. One more time. At the end of our shot, the club head will be looking at the target and will be very, very low to the ground. If we'd like to reduce the roll, move the ball forward towards your left foot. Same finish. And the ball will come out a little bit shorter. If you'd like to increase the roll, Play it more towards your right foot. Same follow through, clubs low, looking at the target. Good way to use one club and adjust your distance around the green. If you like this tip, please see your local PGA Pro. Tehama Golf Club. Challenging as it is breathtaking, Tehama Golf Club invites the lucky few that round these 18 holes to revel in its majesty. Tehama, which means abundance of nature, delivers a surplus of wonders. Owned by actor Clint Eastwood and designed by renowned golf course architect Jay Morrish, it's truly a slice of sporting heaven. Each hole offers a new vista of Monterey Bay and Carmel Valley. Players enjoy the views, but remember the course requires every ounce of skill. The excitement doesn't stop on the fairway. The Tehama Pro Shop can outfit you with cutting edge golf equipment and the latest sporting apparel for men and women. In this fun, rustic pro shop, you'll find unique accessories, ball markers, belts, head covers, and even a Clint Eastwood custom Scotty Cameron putter. Make a statement on the course with a new era or Travis Matthews hat, golf shirts from Johnny O, Link Soul, Peter Millar, or K Juice, even try on the latest FootJoy shoes. Truly one of the finest pro shops in America. Hello everyone, my name is David Jackson. I'm the head professional at Tehama Golf Club. We're out here on number 13, par four, narrow fairway, water, lots of trouble ahead of me. We're gonna talk a little bit about course management today and what we're gonna hit off the tee to increase our chances of shooting a lower score and doing better in our tournaments and our events. So we have two options off the tee here. I can hit three wood, get it into the more narrow part of the fairway, have a shorter iron into the green, maybe make birdie, but we also bring in a lot of risk by doing that. We have another option of hitting an iron off the tee and keeping it in the fat part of the fairway. Longer iron into the green, but a better chance of making par and keeping myself out of trouble. So here I've got my uh, driving iron. The, this is gonna keep me short of the trouble. The bunker's on the left and put me in the wider part of the fairway, which will leave me a longer distance in, but keeping the ball in play and in the fairway is the important part of using this club off the tee. That shot is in the fairway, it's kept me out of trouble, give me a better chance of making par. 
So here we are at my second shot. As you can see, we're in the fairway. This is the result of hitting an iron off the tee. We're at the wider part of the fairway, giving us a better chance of hitting the green coming in. Now we're on the green, giving ourselves a good chance at birdie and an even better chance at par. Here we are at my birdie putt after hitting iron off the tee. We have slightly right to left, pretty level putt, giving myself a good chance at birdie, even better chance at par. Hope this showed you today how important course management can be, not only in your events, but also playing with your friends. It's very important to take the safe route off the tee, giving yourself a chance to shoot lower scores. With 35 years of experience, Monterey Bay Builders Inc. are your best choice for custom residential, commercial and industrial construction. A premier custom home remodeling firm, they'll manage and support your project from start to finish. From early planning and design development to the final construction build out, Monterey Bay Builders will help make your vision a reality. Visit MontereyBayBuildersInc.com to find out more. Lopez and Sons Tree Service, serving the Monterey Peninsula with all of your tree service needs. With 18 years of experience, our team of professionals are the tree care and removal experts you can count on. These guys will climb to new heights and hang out on a limb for you, residential, commercial, or even if you have an emergency, no problem. Give us a call or visit our website at lopezandsonstreeservice.com. Corral de Tierra Country Club, exceptional service for over six decades. This year marks our 60th year serving our members in the Monterey County. Enjoy the amazing views on Corral's championship golf course. Soak up the sun with the family, take a dip, or simply lounge with a beverage by the club's beautiful pool complex, complete with a stunning panorama of the surrounding area. Tennis, fitness, fine dining, or even a casual bite. Only here at Corral de Tierra Country Club, you'll fall for the charm of these luxurious grounds, whatever your mood. For more information, visit CorralDeTierraCC.com. Hello, my name is Scott Ferrer. I'm the head golf professional at Corral de Tierra Country Club. Today I'm going to give you a little tip that hopefully will help you get off the tee better and add a little more distance that we're all looking for. The biggest issue that I see with golfers, especially when they get driver in their hand, is the angle of attack. And most players will swing over the top, we hear that all the time, and that's really detrimental as we're hitting our driver and we're trying to create more distance. So what I have here is a driver cover in front of me, about a foot in front of the golf ball. And what we're working on is creating a positive angle of attack or swinging up. So as we hit this tee shot, we want to make sure as we swing through impact and swing up, we don't make contact with that driver cover. So if you think of your driver head, think of it as an airplane. We want this thing taking off as we're hitting the golf ball off of the tee. 
rather than landing when a plane is landing. So we want to really get this club working up in the air. So if we're swinging down too much, we're going to have a little bit of issue and make contact with that driver cover in front of us. Conversely, we hit up, that's going to do a couple of things. It's going to increase our launch and also lower the spin, which is going to maximize the distance and roll that you're going to get off of that tee shot. So I will go ahead and show you an example here very quickly. Again, same thing, a little over a foot in front of me. And ideally, as we make impact, we want to be swinging up and creating launch as we go through. So I set up to it like normal. And my goal is to create a positive launch, swinging up and missing the head cover. So as you can see, we got a little better launch off the face, a little less spin, which is going to result in a better trajectory and a little more release once it hits the ground, which ultimately is going to produce more distance for you off of the tee. So hopefully this helps you a little bit, and not only in getting a little more accurate off the tee, but adding distance that we're all looking for. Good luck to you out on the golf course. Hello and welcome to the club at Pasadena, our 14th hole, our signature hole here. Uh, my name is Mark Madsen. I'm the director of golf. And I want to talk about a couple things that really good players, scratch golfers, tour professional, high level amateur players do to both maximize speed and be as consistent as possible to strike the golf ball. And what they do, one real factor in doing so, is being able to maintain this angle and strike the ball with forward shaft lean at impact to maximize speed and consistency and get the bottom of the arc in front of the golf ball. Your average bogey golfer on the weekend warrior side? reverse shaft lean, falling back on the right side, helping the ball up in the air. What we want to do, take the club back, transfer the weight left, the angle is maintained and we strike the ball before we strike the turf. That's how we're going to create consistent golf shots. I'm going to show you a shot and how to do this. pretty good. You see I struck it solidly. If you were on this side of my golf ball, you'd see that the divot's in front of it because I've got forward shaft lean at impact and been holding on to this lag as long as possible to strike down that ball and get it up in the air. Add that to your practice routine and you'll be a better player. Welcome everybody out to hole number 12 at Corral Day Tierra Country Club. My name is John Crater, assistant golf professional here at Corral. Today we're going to talk about how to hit a cut shot. Hole number 12 here sets up a little uphill and you've got to hit a cut shot to keep it in the fairway and go around a tree on the right. So I've got these two alignment sticks to help me demonstrate. This green stake will be your club face and where it's pointing and the orange stake will be where you're swinging that club head, so your club path. All right. Ideally those two things match up and are nice and straight and we hit a straight golf shot. With this cut shot though, we are gonna keep that club face square to our target and we're gonna try to swing it a little left of target, okay? To help us do that, we wanna set up a little left of target. So match your body and your alignment up with where you wanna swing that club, but leave your club face pointing at your target. All right, let's take a look at what that looks like. And that's how to hit a little fade. Welcome to Bittner, the pleasure of writing, right here on Ocean Avenue in Carmel-by-the-Sea. The best pen store in the world and a must-see for visitors to the Monterey Peninsula. View and purchase the latest and greatest fine writing instruments, journals, accessories, and papers from around the world. See and feel and experience the Homo sapiens magma, the pen forged in a volcano and made from lava rock in Italy, and the Van Gogh edition writing collections, recreating his world-famous paintings. 
Check out the 50th anniversary moon landing riding instruments by Montegrappa and the Pelican Golf Limited Edition. Come and marvel at the art of Japanese lacquer pens and get yourself one of the exclusive Carmel pens and journals for the ideal souvenir. We are sure you will find the perfect gift right here at Bittner behind the yellow door in Carmel on Ocean Avenue. Escaping the city for a solo adventure, going on a romantic getaway with your partner, or looking to make memories with the family, Carmel Valley Ranch is your one-stop destination. This 500-acre playground fits the bill, whatever your need. Call the ranch home in one of the many fun and luxurious studio or one to four bedroom suites. Tee up on the only peat dye designed course in Northern California. These 18 holes are sure to challenge and delight. The playing isn't just for the grown-ups. Kids can have endless adventures on the property. From tennis to golf, swimming to hiking, the resort features an eclectic mix of fun in the sun. Sun setting? Grab a marshmallow and transport yourself back to your first night at camp. Carmel Valley Ranch even has a stunning vineyard where you can do a little wine tasting on property. With loads of healthy food being grown on the ranch and a handful of brilliant artisans at the helm, your meal is destined to be fresh and fabulous. Taste, explore and discover only here at Carmel Valley Ranch.
Hello and welcome to Carmel Valley Ranch. My name is Brant Wilson. I'm the director of golf at Carmel Valley Ranch. Something that we'd like to talk to you today about is something they'll be facing at the U.S. Open this week. The, the players are going to be facing small, firm greens. And that's something that we actually have a lot of here at Carmel Valley Ranch. Our greens are firm. They're not as small, but they are very firm. So how do we get a good shot into a firm green? Well, what it comes down to is spin. We need to be able to spin the golf ball. If and the way we create spin is by creating speed. The faster this club is moving when it runs into the golf ball, the quicker the golf ball is going to stop on the green. Um, if you want to take spin off the golf ball, which happens a lot on the Monterey Peninsula with our soft spongy greens, then you swing a little bit easier and that'll take some spin off of it. During the US Open, you'll probably see them actually do some of that when they're hitting shots into the wind. When you hit into the wind, you want to take a little less speed and not hit it quite as hard and the ball will fly better through the wind. Let me give you an example of how we create spin. So what I'll do here is I'm hitting a shot. This is hole number 17. It's a little dogleg right par four. And when we hit our second shot into the green, the green kind of slopes away a little bit. So what we need to do, and the green's really firm, we need to hit a nice hard shot where we can get the ball to stop quickly on the green. So let me go ahead and demonstrate how we do that. So what I did there is I created a little bit more speed with this club. It was able to get the ball to stop quicker on the greens, just like the guys at the U.S. Open are going to get to do this week. A little more speed, ball stops a little bit quicker. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. This year marks the 100th year of Pebble Beach. This year's site for the U.S. Open, and what a way for Scotty Cameron to release his limited Newport 2 masterpiece, a white pistol grip and a custom Scotty milled putter ring around the shaft. Only 150 made and handcrafted only for Pebble Beach. And not to mention the Pebble Beach putter cover, custom for only this limited release putter. This work of art is truly a collector's dream. All right, welcome back. This is Justin Russo here, PGA Director of Instruction out at Bayonet and Black Horse. I'm here today to talk a little bit about our sand wedge, same club we used in our chipping. However, we're now going to take our sand wedge and add a little loft to it so we can propel the ball out of our sand bunker, which is located just beyond the green. So now we need to move the ball out of the fluffy sand, propel it up in the air, and get it to stop quickly on this downhill slope. One of the aids that we have here use hitting this shot is by adding a little loft to the club, which I'll show with this indicator here. By increasing that angle, we've lifted the front of the club up, which we refer to as bounce. That's the sliding mechanism on the bottom of your club that keeps your club from digging and is the reason pros like the sand. It allows you to hit the sand prior to the golf ball and slide through, keeping the momentum up. I'm gonna place it in the front part of my stance near my front left foot and I'm going to strike the sand somewhere two to four inches behind it. Again, one more time. Visualize a line behind the ball. Keep your eyes on that line. Strike that line. reminders in the bunker shots, we're going to add a little loft that increases the bounce of the club. We're going to strike the sand prior to the golf ball. We will use a same swing that we use for all of our other shots. So watching it one more time, balls located in the front of our stance, visualize an area behind the ball, strike that area using your same full swing. So again, key reminders, add some loft, hit the sand first, use your regular golf swing. We enjoyed our time with you today and we hope these small tips improve your game and get you out playing a little bit more golf. Thanks for your time. Here we are at number 15 at Tehama Golf Club, the most severe green on the course. We have a false front. As you can see, I'm up top here on top of the ridge. This was to ensure that I would be on the green and give myself a putt. You're gonna see putts like this at the US Open. The players are gonna be facing fast greens where speed is gonna be the most important part. I'm gonna be picking a line over here that's gonna be with my back to the hole to give myself the best chance. I'm gonna to try to die it at the top so it's, the speed is slowing down up at the top of the ridge, get it down to the hole. You want it coming into the hole as slow as possible to keep it on the green. As you can see, the ball is catching the fall line coming at a slower pace. 
you hit that ball too hard, you can end up on the fringe over here on the right, or you can be going down the fairway and have yourself another chip coming up to the green. I want to thank you all for tuning in today. I hope this little lesson on putting shows you how important speed can be to get the ball close to the hole. Navigating your business towards success in this ultra-competitive, fast-paced, and unpredictable world is a challenge. And keeping your business in the fast lane can be overwhelming without a smart, efficient team behind you. Find the guidance, support, and expertise you seek with the professionals at LMA Film and Video. One of the top production companies in Northern California, we are a full-service production company. We'll work with you to craft the right message and get it in front of the right viewers. After developing a solid strategy to meet your goals, our skilled team of producers, cinematographers, editors, writers, motion graphic artists, and voiceover talent will bring your story to life. At LMA Film and Video, we're experts in the most advanced technology available. Bring your real estate listings to life with 3D imaging and stunning aerial photography. Let our motion graphics team refresh your logo with innovative animation. Our creative professionals go to any lengths for the right shot. You've got a great story? We'll help you tell it. Our strong relationships with local broadcast companies and proven success spreading engaging content across all social media platforms will propel your business to new heights. Video engages potential customers like no other form of media can. Generate interest in your business, pull visitors deep into your website, develop your audience and move people to action. You'll reach new clients in your own community and worlds away. LMA Film and Video, media for your business. Call today for a free consultation. With 35 years of experience, Monterey Bay Builders Inc. are your best choice for custom residential, commercial, and industrial construction. A premier custom home remodeling firm, they'll manage and support your project from start to finish. From early planning and design development to the final construction build-out, Monterey Bay Builders will help make your vision a reality. Visit MontereyBayBuildersInc.com to find out more.